Hi, uh, I'm putting fret wires in now. This is on the third, the third neck. By no means easy. <laughs> Possible, it's just not easy. That's going in. So, as I said before, when you get put these players on, make sure there's a gap between the, the edge of the fretboard and your snips. Then you see it's worth the hassle, it's worth the hassle taking your time, it really is. Just take your time, it pays dividends. And slow yourself down by doing it like doing so many cutting on one side then cutting that little bit off the other side it just slows you down makes you think I mean these aren't perfect they're never you know I don't think it'd ever be perfect because I'm not a, I'm not a guitar maker and I, I, I just haven't got that sort of ta talent and possibly I haven't got that actual patience level as well but what I do I do to the best of my own abilities uh, and that's good enough you know that's good enough for me proud of what I do because I think they're bloody fantastic but like I say it's you know you you think you always think your own work's fantastic. Other people might think, "Christ, what a bag of shit!" But I, I can assure you, no, these aren't a bag of shit. I so not a bag of shit. And so what I was doing there, I was just uh, nipping up on the uh, this little filing to sharpen the pliers. Uh, they, they were quite expensive then. <coughs> alleged Luther's nips the great but after five five uh, cutting five frets or ten sides they're, uh, they're chipping just like any other just like any other player really I'm uh, just uh, honing the edge each time so again all I'm doing here Giving that, that a run. With this being the triangle file, it's so it's just opening it up a touch, and just to prevent any chipping at the the edge. I'm just doing that, it's not making a damn bit of difference to the uh, To the stability of the wire when it when it goes in it's just making it a little bit easier um, I've done every single one the same way and touch wood I haven't chipped anything off the sides on this one Think you're gonna get frustrated with it stop go and have another blur go and have a cup of tea stop until you're ready to take the challenge again I 
because to get this neck to this stage is not easy. It takes a lot of work to get your guitar up to this stage. And the last thing I want to do is make a real knacker of it because I'm getting angry. Just stop and have a cup of tea. If I have to leave it a day, I'll leave it a day. It takes me an hour just to get one piece in. And I, as long as I get it in right, it'll take me an hour. I don't give a monkeys. When, you, when you're putting it in, you feel it. You, you feel it actually go into place and you know it's it's done what it's supposed to you, you, you can just feel it it sort of just pops just pops into place and you know you just got it right like I say. right so I'm gonna run one, two, three, three light strokes there, and then just make a little delta shape at the edge. Anybody who's watching this who actually knows how to put the frets in, do us a favour, make a video and show people like myself how to actually do it the correct way please it would be nice
Okay, just a bit more fret wire. And this fret wire is only cheap, so you do get enough of it. So don't be scared of uh, the. Okay, in this last one, just be careful. So we'll start twatting it too hard. Put some wood under, pack it underneath. It is surprisingly fragile, this. This wood, and that's surprisingly bent as well. the last one and as I got further down the line I, I felt just a bit more confident and I felt them going in slightly better as well okay I'm gonna leave that wood there Nice piece of hardwood. Cross it. Put a clamp on that end. Clamp on this end. Okay. that file flat side onto your frets and gently rubbing file all this nice and level okay do that on both sides and then when you've done that turn it round to put your angle on put that on there like that and that will give you a 45 degree bevel on your frets which when done you see that They're nice and smooth smooth as glass down there and there's no rough edges on there same as on the other side and it is worth it getting the correct file it's not this one I'm not going to use that and if you do feel a little nip on there just patiently put it in a vise and check each one and just take the blur off if there's a blur on it but hopefully that's not the frets 
knock him by the way. That's it. Keys. All right. Okay, so they're in as good as they get. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to nip any of these that are just a millimetre too long. I'm just going to go down. side 90 degree edge just run it along take your time because these are jagged you've got to get a nice level edge first so they're all even and then you can just I did make one of these myself out of a, a sanding block and uh, one of these little files, a flat file. It was temporary, it was, it, it was good enough to do the job, but nothing beats the correct tool. So again, don't go mad, don't think you can just go and whizzing right down there because you pull all your bloody frets out. Just take your time. Because you've got one or two pieces that are sticking out more than the others. And you will just pull the frets out if you're not careful. So I've got a nice little run going there now, so that these pieces of metal. I have to take that piece of wood out, that's interfering. These pieces of uh, pieces of fret are now leveling off. Run it nice and smooth, keep it flat and keep pressure in this case coming towards me. What I will do once I've got a nice run right along here and I can feel this going all the way along without any interference like that. I'll put my super glue in then. It's not worth doing it now because I've still got a lot of work to do. But once I know I can get that run all the way along smoothly, it'll be time to drop the glue in. Because what this will do as well when you get down to your fretboard take bits of the excess glue off as well so you don't have glue marks. difference already so you know, I can move up to the next couple of frets now. And doing this will also tell you if one of your fret wires is too high. It's not always a case of that catching on the end there. 
one of your fret wires might be slightly too high so you can check that as, as well as you go along. Okay, so that's by no means finished actually by the way, I'm just gonna put the glue on it. and I will turn it round and I will work the same edge in the opposite direction as well. I won't do it all one way. Okay, do it in both directions. You can see, you can see it now starting to take shape. Yeah, there's still a lot of work to do. It's, that's nice, that's, that's coming on. Another 20 minutes maybe doing that on that on that one side and it'll be like glass. So I'm gonna go up down the other side of the, the neck now to start that, that angle. Again, we've got a 45 degree angle. Start off easy. Well keep it easy all the time, keep that nice. pressure all the time, just constant. Back and forth. See the bits, file coming off. 